I went to our post office uh, to get a package. That is my new video camera. Hi guys and welcome to different Russia channel. Today we go to the post office. I hope there won't be a lot of people there. Uh, I got the notice from our post office and uh, they informed me that there is a package for me. A few weeks ago I ordered video camera that is um, a Chinese copy of GoPro. I ordered it on AliExpress. That is a very popular uh, website or with Russians because of the delivery. Uh, in fact, we may order on many websites, uh, for example, on Amazon also. Uh, but as, for example, Amazon, the delivery is very expensive for Russia. For example, you may order something for uh, $10 and pay about $50 or $60 for delivery. <laughs> Not very profitable. <laughs> as you may see uh, so and that is why many russians uh, buy everything from aliexpress if you are interested i uh, put the link to this website uh, below the video usually i order uh, something for my scrapbooking that is one of my hobbies and also i order things for my paintings uh, but as for video cameras, that is the first time when I order this. Hope everything will be okay. Russians order many things from AliExpress because the delivery is free. Not all the delivery is free, but usually the delivery to many products is free. That is why it is cheaper to order in AliExpress than to buy in the ordinary local shop. And besides, the prices are lower on the websites. I hope this camera will help me to make videos inside buildings, inside shops, inside filling stations. That is a spy camera because it is very small and it does not draw attention of the management of organizations where I go. Our post office is located on the ground floor. Uh, you see that a blue, that blue part of the building, that is our post office, and the green one is the drugstore. Uh, the yellow one here, that is the shops. So, if it is not going to rain, let's have a small, a quick look at this. is uh, the post box if you have any letters you may put your letters here anytime and there is some special schedule when the postman takes uh, the letters as for our post office it works from 8 o'clock in the morning up to 8 o'clock in the evening except Sunday And here is the post office.
uh, this is our uh, sports uh, center. Uh, the name of this you may see Dvorets uh, Sporta Friazina. And here uh, is the memorial to the soldiers who died in the Second World War. And behind it, our big factory, uh, the pink building you see over there, uh, that is Istok. The factory which is called Istok, a very old factory. In fact, uh, when this factory appeared, uh, this city appeared. So. Uh, a few days ago there was extremely hot and um, on Monday uh, the rain came so now the weather is like this it is raining then about one hour <laughs> it is just cloudy uh, with splits of Sun <laughs> and then it is raining again I have already shown you our post office. If you are interested, you may see my old video. <laughs> Not much has changed. What to say about that post office? If to speak about the inside of this building, it is very old. It was built in the middle of the last century, in the Soviet period, and from that time not many renovations were made. That is why the interior is rather rustic, I should say. We have several post offices uh, in Vrezina. This one is very close to my house. We get our mail according to our uh, permanent registration. I know that is <laughs> a very new thing for you. Maybe some of you uh, have heard about this, maybe not. So uh, every Russian has a permanent registration. I can't understand why that bag is on that fir tree. So it doesn't look that this bag belongs to that man. A very strange thing <laughs> happens in Fresno. This is our sports club. Behind it is a very big stadium. If you follow me on Facebook, a few weeks ago I showed you this place. I ride my bicycle there, like this very much. So I think I should go because it is going to be a storm, I think, a heavy rain. So I must hurry home. That is the building of our music school, the old building. Uh, now there are some art school uh, classes here and the music school moved last year to another building. This weekend on the 2nd and the 3rd of July we went to a very interesting uh, festival that is war historical festival or military historical festival. A lot of uh, interesting things we saw. That is the entrance to the garage in the basement. That is not a very usual thing for our houses. In fact, we have two or three houses in Fresno with such a basement a garage. Very convenient, I should say, uh, but not many houses has such a possibility. This building, I think you should remember, that is our Jack. <laughs> In Russian, it is called Jack, Жилищная эксплуатационная компания. That is the maintenance company <laughs> of our district on the ground floor. I also have a video uh, from this place when in spring we had the problems with the roof. 
everything turned out to be okay uh, so the roof did not leak uh, but they did not repair it they said it is better not to do anything because we may do worse than it is now <laughs> In this building, on the ground floor, we have uh, the library, that is the children's library. Any child can uh, take books from that library uh, from the age of, um, I think, three up to the graduation from the high school. And we also have the library for adults. Libraries, in fact, are not very popular uh, in uh, my city. We are now in the city of Frezina, 20 miles northeast of Moscow. But as for Moscow libraries, they are very modern and many people go to libraries. I think we shall also, with you, someday <laughs> go to that library. When I was a student, I used to go to the Library of Foreign Literature. Uh, it is not far from Taganske metro station, but now I don't know whether it works or not. In that library also was a very big center, the British Council Center, but I heard that it had been closed. I'm rather lucky, it is not raining. This old building was used as a kindergarten many, many years ago, uh, but now here we have some state uh, organizations. Now it is not used as a kindergarten. In fact, we have a very big problem with kindergartens, because there are no many places in state kindergartens. When you are pregnant, you must go to the nearest kindergarten or to the kindergarten you would like your child to go and uh, take the line. Uh, and sometimes it takes uh, three or four years before you join that kindergarten. Over there is my balcony with a big satellite plate. I plant flowers there. So, here is my new camera. Let's look at it. You're ready for anything sidekick. <laughs> so, I'll just open it. And the instructions. So, <laughs> no present. Sometimes they put a small present, but this time uh, the seller did not put anything. So, the camera is really very, very small. That is for tripod. Yeah. So. It is very small. I think I will be a very good spy with this camera. So now guys we are going to have a lot of videos from shops <laughs> that I think will be very very convenient. I ordered it about one month ago. Today it is the 6th of July, Wednesday, but I think that if you are not eager to buy this camera immediately, it is worth waiting, uh, because in the shops, in our local shops, such cameras are about two or three thousand rubles more expensive. For this one I paid about uh, 500 rubles. So if it is interesting for you, I will uh, put the link uh, below the video. I don't know about the quality of videos, um, maybe the quality will not 
be very good, but for 500 troubles, I think that is <laughs> a good choice. Uh, 500 troubles, that is uh, a little bit less than $100. One American dollar today is about 65 troubles. I think that is a good camera for this money. No display, that is bad.